ball off for the 2024 Heidelberg Golf Club Division 3 Grand Final between Fitzroy and Old Paradians. Gilmore gets the first tap down for Parade, but he into the hands of a Fitzroy Stars opponent. They get the first foray forward. Winmar's in there, able to get a quick scrubbing kick forward as he's tackled, but can't find a target, and it's wrapped up on centre-half forward for the Stars, kicking to the right-hand side of your radio dial in this first quarter. Getting the tap down is Gilmore to Colatillo. His kick lands in the hands of Norris. And he'll look to send the Stars forward. He's going to get a quick handball to Proctor. He's going to go laterally with the handball to Jetta. And now a short kick to the outer wing. Find a target in Jordan Proctor, who finds Kane once again. He's going to send a darting kick inside forward 50. It lands in the hands of Jones. Can't take the mark. And now Old Paradians look to mop things up. Desmond's in there, flings a boot at it. Can't find a target. Proctor gets the handball once again and sends the Stars inside forward 50. But the relieving mark is taken by Will Gilmore this time. No, a free kick has been paid for a push. So it will be the Stars with the first shot on goal. And it's that man, Patrick Farrad, with the opportunity to kick his first after kicking eight in the qualifying final. And he did kick four goals against the wind in the second semi-final and here he is about to have a go for his first into the wind on so the grand final day already putting pressure on the old Paradians <laughs> defence is the star goal kicker 51 goals in 10 games in 2024 sends this one on its way umpire likes it Fitzroy Stars have the first of the Heidelberg Golf Club Division 3 grand final here at Laylor Reserve and it's Patrick Farrant with a brilliant finish from deep right up against the old Paradians bench. It was going to be the one that needed to be stopped by the Raiders if there were any chance of a premiership today. We know how much forwards love early confidence boosters and that's certainly going to be one for the Collingwood VFL listed forward. He's kicked the opener of the grand final and it's an early advantage to the Stars as we get back in the middle at Layla Reserve. Big leap from Gilmore. Coming in hot though was Tolly. Lost the footy. Trying to control it but couldn't do so. Coming in for support as well is O'Sullivan. Here comes Desmond at the bottom of the pack. Now it's Nolan as well trying to get himself in and under for the Raiders. That ball not going anywhere. Umpire says give it to me. Yeah, and just to say that was a very difficult kick actually by Farron. He was fairly close to the boundary in about 35 40 out ball gets tossed up gilmore once again front spot this time better for o'sullivan gets the clearing kick bounce ball towards the pavilion side lands okay for heel he's going to be met upon immediately by bamblet and the umpire says he had enough time to get rid of it holding the ball goes the stars way they've got it between wing and half back on the pavilion side a massive crowd here at layla reserve this afternoon for this decider neville jetta will receive the footy with this free kick called the play on right boot ball now towards half forward and down the line he goes bounce just in time for Niccolo coming in for support is Jones but it's the Stars that win the ball back Trajkovsky now coming through on the pavilion side they send it to the Farrant direction almost tried to pluck it with one hand he's done well to keep that ball in front of him Farrant now ricocheting close to close in fact and still a chance for Lovegrove Hudson drop the footy there's Erickson went back to Farrant almost caught high umpire says allow it to go close tries to tap it to the advantage of a teammate O'Sullivan and it'll be cleared by Whittle for the Raiders so it's going to come to a two-on-two -two contest. The Fitzroy defender gets hands to it, but it trickles over the boundary line. It was Michael Brown in there who got hands to it. But it's going to be thrown back in right in front of our commentary position. And it is going to be Gilmore and Norris once again doing the ruck work. Gilmore's able to get the tap down, but tapping it over is close to Norris. Gets a handball over the top to Carpenty, who gets one to Winmar. Gets one inside to Burns, who gets one over to Lovegrove Hudson. Snaps one towards goal. Fitzroy had the second of the day. And off to a fast start are the Stars here at Laylor Reserve. And Ryan Lovegrove Hudson kicks their second of the afternoon. And old Paradians in all sorts early. Well, this is exactly where the Stars actually, in a sense, won the game uh, two weeks ago. They kicked uh, a lot of goal, four goals into the wind. All courtesy of Patrick Farrant. Again, they've done well into the wind uh, at the start of this game. We were a little bit worried about them having the two buys. They look fresh as a daisy now. They look really doing well early on. They certainly do. Speaking to him pre-game. That's going to be a free kick off the ball against Kane Proctor. So here's a chance for Old Pradians to go into attack. We're five minutes into the grand final. It's two straight to the Stars yet to score. 
are old Paradians. They're going to switch to the pavilion side. Nicolo chipping kick to Nolan. Put him under all sorts of pressure. Doing well was Trajkovsky. Now the Stars can rebound. Instead, they're just happy to hold things up for the time being. And Boss says I'll have it. Well, Nicholas, Doug and I were split. We tipped one each for Fitzroy and Old Paradians. We'll get your tip quickly before you've seen the first two goals. Go I was to the about stars. to say, does these two goals shift my thoughts? No, I said the Stars at the podcast. I'm going to go a couple of goals. I think Farrant does win best on ground. And he's started well early. Meanwhile, the Raiders will get the clearance here. Looking for Tommy Cooper. In front, though, is Jetta. Read the bounce best. Hands it out wide to Dow. Kane Proctor now goes down the line. Kick was smothered out of bounds. And we'll have a boundary throw in in front of a packed pavilion here at Layla Reserve. It is brilliant to see finals here at Layla Reserve in this Heidelberg Golf Club Division 3 grand final with a massive crowd in on a beautiful September day. Umpire preparing to throw the ball back into play. As we have seen for most of the first quarter, it's Gilmore and Norris going at it. Gilmore reaches over to get the tap down, but Burns is going to be the first one onto it. He fumbles a couple of times. O'Sullivan dives in, tries to take possession, but eventually comes out to Kane Proctor, who snaps one forward. But the intercept mark is taken by Niccolo, who will relieve for the Raiders and look to send them inside forward 50 for the first time this afternoon. He does just that. And on the lead, almost taking the mark there was Healy. Couldn't get two hands to it. And... Eventually, the Stars defenders do well to force it out of bounds. So Healy up forward with the wind at least, and Declan Brunskill is the guy with a difficult job on Patrick Farrand at this stage. So that will be one to watch at quarter time. Do the Raiders switch things up when the Stars are kicking with the wind? Umpire throws it back in. The wind basically pushes it back inside forward 50 for the Raiders. It comes to ground. A quick handball out goes to Healy, but he's tackled by two. And the Stars defenders do well to work this one out of defence. They'll clear it away through half-back. They'll go towards the broadcast side. Williamson, nice pick up in the conditions. Swings around on the left foot and goes to the middle of the ground. Bouncing ball, trying to get there was Raman Winmar. One back by the Raiders. Erickson, the half-forward, over the top of Whittle. Coming in the other way is Norris. Norris handballs out to a teammate on the broadcast side. and He'll go down the line with the kick. Great spoil coming on that occasion from William Gilmore. Can that ball stay in play? The Stars want it to. They do. Lovegrove Hudson went in hard. But now... The boundary line beats all comers, boundary throw in. Yeah, and what the Raiders have got to do is when they do have the ball, they've got to make sure they hit their targets. They've been uh, turning it over quite a bit early on in the game. Seven and a half gone. Stars with the opening two goals of the grand final. Operadians yet to register a score. Boundary throw in, almost true centre wing out of uh, broadcast side. Gilmore grabs it out of the ruck and slams the boot towards the boundary direction. But that ball will trickle its way over, but they do get some important metres gained. Boundary, of course... One of two old Paradians players who played in their last premiership back in the VAFA. The other being today's captain, of course, in Marcus Nolan. That's the last time they tasted silverware at this club. They're hoping to do so again in their first year in the Northern Football Netball League. Healy in the ruck. Taps it to the O'Sullivan direction. Chance for Bamblet now. He'll clear it for the Fitzroy Stars. Goes towards the Philly inside with this kick. In there is Winmar. Jones coming the other way now is Kyle Thomas, but he runs out of room. Yeah, and Kyle, Thomas, uh, Kyle Thomas didn't actually take possession, but he did well to make a contest because it looked like at one stage the Raiders player was going to grab the ball and be off. So... Old Praetors have done well to settle things down after the Stars kicked the first two of this grand final. They've got the ball in their forward half, but yet to register a score. Gilmore's able to get the tap down, lands in the hands of Proctor. Goes one way, turns the other, and eventually gets one on the left boot. Gilmore's there to two-on-one contest. Niccolo defends for the Raiders. O'Sullivan's in there, trying to gain possession, so is Whittle. There's a big pack of players laying on top of that ball. And it will be another stoppage on the outer side. Yeah, I've been impressed with the fact that when the Stars do get the ball into the wind, they're not just blazing away. They're trying to find a target. They've done it reasonably well. They certainly are. As O'Sullivan asking for a free kick there for a hold, umpire says nothing doing, and the ball does find its way out of bounds. So it will be thrown back in in front of the pavilion on that outer side. It's Tyson Pickett looked like going up against Gilmore in the ruck contest, giving up a fair bit of height, but looking to put in a big contest and move Gilmore. Can't do anything there as Gilmore takes it out of the ruck, but loses possession. Eventually does come back to the Raiders. And they're going to get a quick handball out through Cooper. Now inside forward 50. Mark is taken. It's Kafari. It's Anthony Kafari. 
in front of the Fitzroy Stars bench. So we saw Farrant do it at one end in front of the Raiders bench. Can Kafari do the same thing down the other end of Laylor Reserve? Looking to register the Raiders' first score of this grand final. He starts his run up. Sends it on its way. Umpire likes it. So did the Old Paradians cheer squad behind the goals. And the Old Paradians have their first of this grand final. One straight six, trailing Fitzroy Stars two straight 12. Now that was a very good kick. Uh, from memory, Kafari had a kick at exactly the opposite side of the ground with the wind either last week or the week before, put it straight through the centre. So his set shot kicking in the final series has been excellent. So we're back in the middle. The Raiders get an important goal at the ten and a half minute mark of this grand final. And they're now trial by just a kick. Again, Gilmore, perfect tap, strolling through is Joel Tolley. 70 out from goal to the pocket, but all there at the back is Lionel Proctor. He'll take the intercept, so almost the perfect way to tie the scores, but the ever-reliable Lionel Proctor. Club record holder with games here. That kick not great, straight to Merkel, trying to apply the pressure is Cole Thomas. But the boundary line will be the end result there. We'll have the boundary throw in inside 50 for Old Paradians who have got the game on their terms now in these last five minutes after a hot start for the Fitzroy Stars. It's the minor premiers that lead by six points. 11 and a half gone here at Layla Reserve. Tap coming from France, doing some ruck work, coming in hard the other way though. It was a couple of stars and we're going to have a free kick here for Old Paradians. It'll be Kafari who copped the brunt of it. And as he slowly gets to his feet, he'll be looking for his second and his side second. To tie the scores at the midway point of this opening turn. Yeah, and he's the same distance out, but he's on a much better angle on the other side of the ground. So um, the uh, cheer squad behind the goals would be look, feeling fairly confident that he'd have a good chance of uh, kicking this one. Well, he won't be now because of a blood rule. It's going to go to the captain, Marcus Nolan. We'll now have the shot on goal. Another very reliable goal kicker, of course. 21 majors in 2024. Only to 14 games. Felt like if he had a full season under his belt, he was certainly in team of the year contention with the influence on his side. And Scafari will make his way off the ground. And good idea for the captain to stick around near the area. So when the blood rule was called, <laughs> the right. first call went to Marcus Nolan to line up for yeah, the second uh, of the day. Rather than some defender <laughs> yeah. who uh, he never kicked a goal in his life. So let's see if Nolan can get the tying goal. 45 metres out. Beautiful kick. Nolan ties things up. In the first term of this grand final, it's two straight, 12 apiece, 12 and three quarter minutes gone, first term. And that things have settled now yeah. for, for the Raiders. Now, the thing is, they're kicking with a breeze and they're only level, uh, but now they can actually look at, maybe we can just keep, get a, keep our momentum, get two or three, four goals, and we're looking good again. We saw that last set of clearance from Gilmore on the tap down, so I think it was Tolly who set one about 70 metres to the goal line. See if they can get a similar go in this centre clearance. Gilmore just shoves him out and sends a long one inside forward 50. And the mark is taken inside forward 50. And Mitch Merkel will line up for another goal for Old Paradians. And all of a sudden, momentum has swung right in the Raiders' favour. How do you stop that? You just can't. I mean, they've put Toss and Pickett in the ruck who's done it before, but not a natural ruckman. Sam Gilmore just having his way at the moment in this grand final. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they bring Norris back out onto the ground as Merkel lines up, sends this one on its way, just fading out to the right-hand side. Almost got it there, but the first blemish of this afternoon goes to Old Paradians. 2-1-13, leading the Fitzroy Stars to straight 12, 14 minutes gone in this first quarter. Yeah, the first time that Old Paradians have the lead in this grand final. So it's going to be Corey Salvador who clears things for the Fitzroy Stars. He's looking towards the pavilion side. That's where he'll go. Where's the Flyers coming through strong? It was a Stars teammate. Great mark from about a couple deep. And I look to send this one. Looks like down the line is the only option for them at the moment. So that's where they'll go with this kick. A lot of plays in the hole again. And in the front spot was James Dow. Dow's called to play on. Right boot ball towards half forward. Hangs in the air. And, well, Nicolo had a few grabs at it, but it's going to be paid the mark. So 
He did a few of that in the preliminary final last week. Plenty of intercept marks coming for him. And the Raiders will just regain position of the footy and slow things down. Low spearing ball down the line. Franz, while well, he dropped it. And coming in the other way is Gordon Bamblett. Now he will go towards half forward with the kick. And standing strong is River Carpenty. Man on the mark just inside 50. Carpenty wants to quickly switch. He's got Farron in the pockets. And it was almost even too hot for his liking, but Farron, no problems with the hands out in front. And he's looking for his second of this grand final. It looks like he's going to snap around here. It is a tight angle, not too far away from the boundary line in the pocket. Farron snaps around and snaps around truly. He's got two. The Stars have three. And they regain their advantage. Three straight, 18-2-1, 13 lead. It's five points for the Stars, 15 and three quarter minutes gone of the grand final. Well, how do you stop a guy like Farron? He's good in the air, he's good on the ground, and when he gets the ball on the boundary into the wind, he's, he's, he kicks it straight through the centre. Now, that all came about because of a drop mark in, in the centre by the Raiders. They must be uh, make sure that they uh, stick their marks and a little bit more clean with their ball movement. They had momentum. Stars got one against the flow, and now it's back to the Raiders to try and get it back again. I said on the podcast that if they kept him to two goals or less, they would win old Brady's. He's already got two, and he could threaten for a third. No. Burns was off to the races, but the umpire found an uh, incorrect disposal, so here's Nolan now in the middle of the ground. Great kick inside, and Lockie Kerr, who opted for the short sleeve. Not usually a short sleeve jumper wearer, Lockie Kerr, but... But it is springtime now, uh, yes, Nicholas. it certainly is. He was kept goals for the first time all season last week in the preliminary final. So maybe he's opting for a change of tune as he looks to get on the ball. But the Raiders' leading goal kicker can regain the lead very quickly for all paradings. He'll probably kick from just outside 50. He's directly in front. Kerr, 55 out from goal. Sneaks it home. And the quick response comes from Ben Turner's men. Lockie Kerr gets on the board. All the forwards are getting on the board early. And the Raiders lead by a point at the 17-minute mark. This is great to see the two best sides just really going at it and throwing some haymakers early at both ends. And every time the Stars have been throwing something towards Old Paradians, they come back with a response and they're able to get back in front 17 and a half minutes in. Yeah, and Kerr goalless last week after being a late withdrawal the week before. Good for his confidence. As Franz going into the ruck for Old Paradians late in this first quarter, giving Gilmore a chop out. But it's going to be the Stars to get the clearance through Burns. A short kick. Does find a target there in carpet. Or pick it, sorry. And he goes into the pocket. Oh. Farrant goes the one hand. Turns around. Snaps his third. And we have a change of lead once again. Patrick Farrant is simply sensational. He's kicked 12 goals in the two games against Old Brady and so far this season. Four goals in round 13. And a bag of eight in the qualifying final. And he's got three in the first quarter here in the grand final. This is already warning signs if you're old Paradians. They're trying to get two to him, but he's just so clean, whether it's in the air or on the ground. His goal sense is incredible. And you can't wonder why he was picked up on a VFL list. With him in the forward line, they can do anything the Stars. They've got the lead again. Here's Dow bustling through. Got the handball away to Kane Proctor. Delayed it just a moment and handballed it towards the broadcast side. Close, sold the dummy well. Now he'll send it towards half forward. Numbers here with the Raiders. Coming in hard was Niccolo. Couldn't take the mark. Here's Winmar. Handball inside 50. Carpenty tries to spin out of trouble. Was able to find Burns. Clever tap now for Keaton Ronan. He tries to get through a couple. Has to go out to Burns. Right on the boundary. That kick too wide. Out of bounds on the full. And it'll be Heath Phillips for Old Paradians. In his first season of senior football for the Raiders, he'll clear it out in the back pocket. He's just going to switch things to find Sean Desmond. He's in the deepest possible area of his defensive 50. He's going to switch things across. It's a nice kick as well, but they're still in their defensive 50. It's Tom Philp now with the ball in hand. Just his eighth game of the season, Philp. Goes down the line looking for Tolly, but it's cut off by Neville Jetta. 80 metres out from Holmes Jetta. Here's Farrant. Oh. Unstoppable Patrick Farrant. Never before in Division 3 have we seen a forward dominate like this. He's looking for his fourth, not just of the game, not just of the half, but of the first quarter. And he did kick four goals into the wind in the second semi-final. He's now lining up for his 
fourth into the wind in the first turn. Patrick Farrant for his 55th goal and just his 11th game in Fitzroy Stars colours. No problems at all. Four goals for Patrick Farrant in the first quarter of the grand final. And the clinical stars are five straight 30. Old parading is 3 one We're into time on now in the opening term and they just look relentless. What I've loved about the delivery is they the forward they get it at half forward and they turn and kick immediately to Farrant. It doesn't allow the old parading defenders to double team to get a body on him. Just get the ball on his head and he's going to take a mark. We've seen him take a miraculous one with one hand earlier before his third. And he's kicking them from everywhere as the ball back in the middle of Layla Reserve now. Gilmore takes it upon himself to take it out of the ruck, try and get the handball out. But it's smothered. And now Fitzroy going to go inside forward 50 once again. And, and you notice Gilmore straight back into the ruck after that little bit of a flurry from the Fitzroy stars. As he's going to deal with Pickett in there. Can't get the clean possession. And it's going to be Proctor giving a don't argue. We'll send a long kick inside forward 50. Farron's got three to contend with. Brings it to ground. Gets a handball out and a snap towards goal for the Stars. And out of bounds on the full. And so Sam, let off yeah, for the Fradians. Sam Gilmore a little bit unlucky not to get a free for holding in the ruck just before. Oof. It's getting hot here. Layla Reserve. And if you're a Stars fan listening or watching, you could be nothing but pleased with what your team has done against the wind, mind you. Not that it's been as big as the last few weeks, but... The Raiders are feeling the heat as they clear it from defensive 50. Looking into the sun as a couple of players. They get a hand onto it, but it's going to be Jai Burns, who has all the time in the world to pick this footy up. Calmly measures a kick and finds a teammate well in Ronan. He'll go back to Jai Burns, centre wing broadcast side. Burns finds Kate Proctor. Proctor's between wing and half forward, broadcast side. His team lead by 11 points. Proctor's left football is very wide. Is it going to stay in play? It's going to be just spoiled over the line by William Gilmore. And we have a boundary thrown inside 50 for the Stars. And it was a sort of kick from Proctor uh, as though you were uh, like 10 points up late in the last term. But uh, at least they've got the ball in, the, uh, in their forward 50. So it's thrown back into play now. Gilmore's able to get the tap down. Whittle goes in hard. But he's tackled by two Fitzroy Stars opponents. And we'll have another ball up. Inside forward 50 for the Fitzroy Stars. Kicking to the right-hand side of screen or your radio dial in this first quarter at Layla Reserve. Gilmore gets a quick kick out of the ruck. But it's going to be intercepted by Norris. He'll get a quick handball over to Walker. We'll go back to Norris. Now to Bamblett inside. Gets the handball to Jordan Proctor. Inside forward, 50 for the Stars. Shot on goal, just hanging out to the right-hand side. And that will be the first blemish of the afternoon for the Stars. 5-1-31, leading Old Paradians at 3-1-19. And, and Old Paradians need to be in front at quarter time. They've got about eight minutes. They need to get a couple of goals. Ericsson to clear it away towards the pavilion side. Here come the numbers. There's been a whistle. It's going to the Raiders. Wind's really now picking up here. So even more danger side, you think, for all Paradians. They find themselves trailing despite kicking with it. Merkel towards the pavilion side. Goes over the head of quite a few. Kerr picks it up on the bounce. Tries to swing around. The kick's really to space more than to anyone. Nolan tries to run onto it. Can't get a kind bounce. Jetta winning hard. Chance here for Tommy Cooper. 40 out from goal. And they get one back, the Raiders. Tom Cooper, who we gave best on ground to last week in the prelim. Gets on the board again for Old Paradians. His 15th senior goal. His fifth of the season. And the Raiders reduced the margin to six points at the 24-minute mark. And Doug, we saw how well Tom Cooper played last week. He'll be happy to get into the game early. Well, that's right. And what they need to do is, uh, uh, for the rest of the term is a couple of quick uh, uh, clearances out of the centre. A goal or two, be in front. If, if at least they're in front, they'll, they'll go into the uh, quarter time thinking that there's some sort of chance. So back in the middle we go. It's going to be Gilmore and Norris again. The margin at six points. We've had nine majors kicked in the opening term of this grand final. So you would argue we're in for a pretty long quarter. Tap coming from Gilmore. O'Sullivan. Chancey now for Colatillo. Erickson. 
Left foot ball smothered. Chance here for the Fitzroy Stars. Running through now is Salvador. Goes inside 50. Not great for Lovegrove Hudson. Trying to get through on a couple of occasions. His company found Jai Burns. Jai Burns is going to snap for goal. That's not going to come back enough. And we'll be pushed through for a behind. 5-2 place 4-1. 25 goal on opening term for the grand final. So this has been some performance from the Fitzroy Stars kicking against the Breeze in this first quarter with a seven-point lead, 25 minutes played. And Old Parade has just looked to move this ball to the other end of the ground and get a late score on the board. They would love to be in front at quarter time, but it's not looking likely. As the kick comes down, Norris takes possession, gets a handball over the top to Jordan Proctor, who's tackled by Whittle. And we'll have another yeah. stoppage. Very good, uh, very good tackle by Whittle there. It looked like Proctor might have been away. So ball thrown back up. Gilmore jumps too early, allows Norris to get the tap down. Colatillo's in there. And the umpire will call for the ball once again. Gilmore just slaps that one forward for the Raiders. Whittle can't Ooh. take possession, and the Fitzroy player diving over the top. Both players Excellent. unharmed in that contest there. It was Proctor. So umpire to throw this ball back into play. We're about 75 around from the Fitzroy Stars goal in this first quarter. Gilmore tapped down. Carpenter's there. Gets the handball over to Proctor. Fumbles, but eventually goes the outside of the boot. Inside forward 50. Clean balls Niccolo. Eventually gets further inside. And a free kick has been paid. Stars. Yeah, it was a high tackle, I reckon. And it will be another shot on goal for the Fitzroy Stars. And this one... I think it's Williamson. Yeah, yeah we'll wait to get a number here. It is Alex Williamson will have this shot on goal. And he's another goal kicker, but you're normally expecting him to be at the bottom of the pack getting one on the run. Oh, he's, he's a goal kicker, Doug. He's 37 this year. Yeah. And he'll... Come in on a slight angle on the perfect side for the left foot. Just hooks it. And another blemish for the Stars. They move to 5 3 33, leading all Paradians at 4 1 25. 27 minutes gone in this first quarter. Incredibly. That, yeah, that was their first bad miss, so yep. actually, uh, the Stars. Cleared away by Ericsson. Great kick through the spine of Layla Reserve. And we've got. The ball in the hands of Noah Whittle. Now he finds Colatillo. He's going to spin past uh, an opponent there in Josh Wanganine. Colatillo inside 50. He goes with the kick towards the pocket. Jetta and Lionel Proctor ran into each other. Jetta back into it again, but he was caught high. Now we'll have a free kick for the Fitzroy Stars. I think it's going to be reverted back here to... Might be Anthony Walker instead, actually, so... Is Jetta in fact, so he's just back on his feet and slow okay. to get up, but he looks okay. So Jetta in the back pocket. Incredibly, you could argue the star should be further in front, despite being against the winds. Jetta. High ball that hang in the air. Gilmore and Norris, and it's Gilmore with no problems. Had the slight height advantage. Claims the mark. Hasn't got much moving for him inside 50. Gilmore opts to handball now. Dangerous for Ericsson. Got it over the top well. Chance for King. Tied on the boundary from King to the top of the goal square. Coming in hard was a couple of stars. Nolan at the front of the pack. Got a handball away to boundary. He was under pressure immediately. Spins around. Cooper found space. Was it wasn't there anybody handballed it straight to the stars. And they look to handball their way out of trouble. Wanganine. Bamblet bounces. Chance here for Nolan. Caught high. Nolan win the, won the ball back for the old Paradians and was yeah. caught high in the process and will have a shot on goal. This is a difficult shot, though. He's right on the boundary and he'd be kicking from about 50. Uh, he's got the skill. Let's see if he can pull it off. 29 minutes gone, opening term. It's Marcus Nolan. He's already got one this afternoon. This would be the toughest of a lot. He's on the broadcast side. He'll kick from just inside 50. No more than a couple of metres away from the boundary line. Nolan swings around and he's hooked that one way too near. Will not register a score. Or will it? Umpires are going to just confirm here to make sure that there are no problems. Uh, they're viewing the arc right now, I believe. <laughs> no arc here, so we'll go with what the umpire says. Of course, it will be on the full, so no score added. To the total, which reads Old Paradians 4, 
125. Fitzroy Stars are 5 3 33. We're about to tick into the 30th minute of the first quarter of the Holderberg Golf Club Division 3 Grand Final. It'll be Burns. And we'll have it in the back pocket. He's just going to go towards the pavilion side, but still in the back pocket. Here's Jeddah, who will just settle things down. So Jeddah, again, not happy with many options. He's going to go straight down, floating ball. Trying to get a hand onto it was Boundy. Landed for Norris instead. Here comes Lovegrove Hudson. Ran out of room. Umpire says we'll throw it in between wing and half forward for the Raiders. And I think the Stars have been very good at getting the ball out of heavy traffic to a player free in this quarter. That's one of the reasons why they're in front against the win. It certainly is as umpire prepares to throw the ball back into play. And Old Prade is looking to get one last score on the board in this first quarter. Tap comes down, handball out from Whittle, and goes inside forward 50, picking it up and running into goal. Getting another one for Prady and his Lockie Kerr. His second of this grand final. The Raiders fifth. And it's a two-point ball game late in this first quarter. Old Pradians 5-1-31, trailing the Fitzroy Stars 5-3-33. Well, he's made up for the fact that he was goalless last week. Yeah. Already two in his opening turn. That's now 40 goals for the season for Lockie Kerr. He's become a valuable member of this old Paradians team in 2024. And just looking at this game, you'd be swear it was an exhibition game where they're just trying to entertain the crowd because yeah. it's extremely entertaining. Ten goals kicked in this term. Gilmore tried to get it out of the rock but didn't get connection to the footy. Trajkovsky won the ground kick. Now picked up here by Carpenter. Wants to switch out ride. Kane Proctor goes inside 50. It'll be cut off by Jack Niccolo. Of spent some time at West Preston Lakeside in the last couple of years. Very solid defender for the Raiders. Been battled by a bit of injury as well this season and overseas unavailability. He's kicked those straight to Kane Proctor. Who's on true centre wing pavilion side. It is at a packed house here at Laylor Reserve. As Proctor. Sends it to the Farrant direction. He's got three to beat. Now the numbers arrive from all plays. It spills out the back of the pack, so still a chance for either side. Here's Dow on all fours. Will Gilmore tries to get his way through a tackle. Just got a kick away. And it landed okay. Well, almost landed okay for Philp. But the handball will go out of bounds for a boundary throw in. 32 minutes gone opening term. Five goals apiece, but it's the Stars that lead by two points. And it is a perfect day for footy here at Laylor Reserve. Both Ruckman neither able to get a tap down. They both go to ground. Eventually comes out to Philp, who's bundled away as he kicked. And it is going to be a downfield free kick paid in favour of the Raiders. So it'll be on the corner of the centre square, about 55 or 60 out from goal. Close to being within range, actually. I oh, know he's going to kick from about probably nearly he's, 70. He's pointing... Right towards the goals. Lots of ping. So siren could sound any second. <laughs> and Fitzroy Stars have got a, a taller guy and um, replaced him with a shorter guy on the mark. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. So it comes in, sends a long kick on its way. Oh, hello. It might have gone through. Paradians hit the front once again with a booming left foot kick, Boundy, thanks to Michael Boundy. So we've had 11 goals kicked in this first quarter. Old Paradians, 6-1-37, now lead the Fitzroy Stars, 5-3-33. And we said they needed to be in front at quarter time, and they've done just that, with what? probably only seconds remaining. Yeah, and both the, both the players that played in their last premiership in 2015 have kicked a goal in the first quarter in Boundy and also Mark, Mark, Captain Marcus Nolan. And there's your siren for quarter time. What a quarter for start of the 2024 Holderberg Golf Club Division 3 Grand Final. 11 goals kicked, and it's the Raiders who will take a four-point lead into the opening break. 6-1-37, 2-5-3-33. Your goal kicker so fast.